Hello, could you tell me a little bit about yourself and your fund? Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm a partner at Antler Mina. Mm -hmm. uh, we're an early stage uh, fund in the Mina region. Okay. Um, and we're investing in um, startups that are actually born within our program. Yeah. So we're scouting um, 80 uh, founders. Yeah. Uh, and these founders then join us in a 10 week program. Within this 10 week program, they actually find the co founder. They start working on their idea. We okay. have masterclass design sprints and then we coach them. And at the end of the 10 week program, out of the 80 founders, we're investing around 10 to 12 businesses, which is around 20 to 25 uh, individuals. Excellent. And I love that you're saying Mina. Yes. He very pronounced at the yeah. very end. I love that. Yeah. So where is the program based out of? Yeah. The program is uh, based right now in Riyadh and in Dubai. But we are Minap Fund, uh, yes. so we're from uh, Morocco to, to Pakistan. The reason for that is that the founders that come to our program are actually from all over the world, especially from the region. Uh, for example, the first program that we run in Saudi in September uh, last year, uh, the biggest, um, uh, or the, the, the people with, uh, what's because uh, sorry, the, um, the largest number, the largest you? number of, um, People from Pakistan. Okay. Second largest was from Saudi. Yeah. Um, we had 3,000 applicants for that program, uh, for the second program that starts on the 11th of March in Dubai. How many would get? So we had 5,000 applicants for the next cohort that starts in a week, and we select 80 out of 5,000. Wow. So it's a three month process of us selecting really the, the best founders. Wow. So what, what are you looking for when it comes to founders? Yeah. So we're looking um, for different kinds of things. So there is obviously the experience. So we have normally in our cohort. 40% uh, tech people um, and the rest, so 30-30 business and domain expertise, so it can be in banking, oil and gas, etc. Yeah. Uh, we believe that that combination is kind of the best combination. Yeah. And when we then look at the people, obviously we look for founder grit uh, and, and yeah, try to find out if we identify someone that can build a unicorn. 85% yeah. uh, of the people that join us in the program have built or worked in startups before. Okay. So there's a lot of startup experience. Some Founders have raised money, some founders even exited. But the most important thing why they join us is that they want to find a perfect co-founder. They all know how important that is. And being in a room with like 80 exceptional people that were selected out of 5,000, that's the magic and that's why they join the us. The peer-to-peer learning must be like insane. Yeah, the community in this 10 weeks is, is incredible. Like the learning, not only when you meet your co-founder and then you start working on your project and you get the coaching, but also the learning that the teams have helping each other with all the experience yeah. um, is incredible, yeah. yeah. So what is what is a red flag for you? What is something that when you see you're like, nope, not this person? Uh, oh, there there are many red flags. Yeah. Uh, no, I would, I mean, uh, <laughs> um, if, if, you, if you're outside of the region and you just want to come to Dubai because the sun is shining, uh, we had all that. Um, that's definitely it. You're not letting Canadians in? Is that what you're Oh, no, there, there's a lot of Canadians, actually. It was the third biggest... Uh, uh, that's so interesting. People. Pakistanis, yeah. Saudis and Canadians. Huh? Yeah, as you can imagine, the Canadians that joined us, there were a few Pakistanis, a few Lebanese okay. from origin, yeah, yeah. Uh, but from a passport, they were Canadians. Yeah, so we had, in the first cohort, we had 90 people, actually, from 34 countries. Oh, wow, that's yeah. crazy. So, so red flag. Ah, red flag. Uh, yeah, not only the sun in Dubai. Um, I would say if if people say I want to keep my job um, and I want to join your program, I found. I want to be part time founder. So there's these kind of part time lifestyle founders that I haven't decided maybe 100 percent yet, or they're never really ready to to take the risk. And 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 we always or I always talk about that. Obviously, being a founder, starting a company comes with a lot of risks. It's not for everyone in the world. Some people need to provide for yeah. a family or or whatever. So um, obviously all the people that we have in the program that join us, they are 1000% uh, convinced to say, I want to start a company today mm -hmm. um, and I want to build a unicorn. And this journey will take time. And that journey, uh, normally it's six, seven years before you can build a, a unicorn. Yeah. And you need to find your perfect co-founder for that. It's almost like getting married. Yeah? Six, seven, painful year. Painful years. You get Absolutely. And, mm -hmm. and I think that's what we always talk about is like also, that that journey is not only long, it's very, very painful. And yeah. that's why that co-founder is so important, yeah. that you have someone that you can Absolutely. go through that together. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Lovely. Hand. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks.